All right, hello there. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the back end of Song Trader so you have an idea of the kind of information you need to input when you're uploading a song. So the reason I'm not up uploading a new song is that then it takes a while to upload and then I'll need to edit this video and I don't want to do that. I'm lazy. I want to go ahead just go straight to the point. So, you know, new song, you upload it, you wait for a few minutes until it's uploaded and then boom it's here so let's have a look at this one I've already done all the editing but basically you have the overview of the song so when you first upload it you'll you know they'll ask you for the song information so that's you know get the song title it always helps to add an image you see here I haven't entered the ISRC but I could I entered the um, ISWC if you have both that's better um, so you know if you have any question about that you can you can go ahead and, and uh, look, in, look into the system now the ISWC it will be your PRO that gives it to you and the ISRC is the your distributor usually that uh, gives it to you but you can also purchase your own ISRC numbers if you want to. Anyway, you know, you fill out as much information as you have there, so release date, oh yeah, and sorry, these numbers, then when your track is used, uh, it supposedly helps, you know, the PROs fig figure out when it's been used and, and pay you. Um, the technology can still improve, but that's the idea behind those numbers. Release date, artist name, so it doesn't have to be your real name, uh, language, if it's a song with lyrics, BPM, super important, tempo, it follows, vocal, if it's an instrumental, male, female, duet, chorus, the era, when, you know, when it was recorded, basically, whether there are any explicit lyrics or not, and then you save. Metadata, what we're we really interested in. So, Song Trader, they will ask you for three different genres. So, you know, you can, you see here, there are a main genre like New Age, but then there are sub -genres. So go ahead and, and check those. And then you need to come up with a description. And here are keywords and moods. And then style similar to, um, you know, I put One Direction. Now that doesn't mean that I copied a One Direction song and that it sounds exactly like a, sound, a One Direction sound. I'm just saying in terms of kind of the vibe and pop feeling and happy feeling, you know, it's... Um, it sounds like One Direction. It doesn't actually, you know, it's similar to, it's not actually um, a copycat. I'm not in favor of copycats. Uh, now, the difference between keywords and moods, um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I would say keywords uh, here, I've used them as kind of related to the music, the way it's made. So I've included instrumentation, uh, kind of color um, of the mix as well. Whereas in moods, I, you know, I really put moods, like uh, happy, joyful, hopeful. Um, so that's it. Audio files, then you don't forget to save. Audio files, you get, uh, you know, you can put, uh, you can connect a new audio file. So for example, for a load of clap, I could... Okay, I probably need to upload it elsewhere, and so let's see, I could have a, an alternative mix. And then I would need to upload it. I'm not sure, yeah, I think you need to upload the track first and then you can um, you can go ahead and, and link it. Copyright settings. Uh, so your writer information, master owner, and you know, uh, you can add a publisher uh, if you're not self-published. You can add a label as well. Then you've got the really cool um, tool that I love using on Song Trader. So I, I leave the basic settings for my tracks, but I like I really like their pricing tool. Uh, when so if I'm working directly with a customer, I might consult a Song Trader pricing tool uh, to just you know check the what check the market prices and make sure I'm around here you know I don't want to be too low 
Um, I don't position myself as premium high. Um, I may in the future, but not at the moment. So, you know, I just want to make sure I'm in, in this region. Um, basically, I don't, you know, I don't want to be taken advantage of. And I also don't, you know, don't want to take advantage of anyone and miss out on opportunities because I, I price myself out of deals. So even if you, um, if you keep the standard recommended pricing and, you know, if you let them uh, keep the default settings. It's a cool tune, uh, cool tool. Sorry that you can use lyrics. If you write, um, if you write songs with lyrics, I definitely recommend copy pasting the lyrics here because in your lyrics, those are like free keywords. Uh, so you know, have them in there, and then you have some options. So you can hide a um, hide a song from the search results. You know, you it's similar to the like private function on SoundCloud, or uh, so you can also use SongTrader actually to uh, when you're pitching your music. If you don't have your own website, or if you don't like using SoundCloud or Box or Dropbox, or you know, SongTrader is a tool you can use as well to have your tracks and and send private links. You can delete the song. You can make it visible on your profile. Um, so I actually like this one and you know it's one of my good ones so I have it on my profile but um, it's not the featured song so that's it those are those are the basic settings and actually 